Hey YouTube, NC Shootist here. Wanted to bring you a video today on using the Lee case length trimmer. Now when I bought my turret press, it came with the cutter. So here's the cutter piece. You can see the, the teeth on here. And it came with the lock stud as well, which is the black piece that's chucked up in my drill here. Let's see. Let's see if you can get a better picture of that. So there's the lock stud right there. And you can buy these different, this is the shell holder. So you can buy different sizes for these, for different calibers. And it also comes with the uh, shell, or excuse me, the length gauge. So this one in particular is for 30 alt six. Okay, so I'll show you how to go ahead and, and trim up a few of these cases. Now the 30 alt six has a case length of 2.494 inches okay so we'll go ahead and measure one of these okay you can see this one's 2.5065 07 let's see 065 all right so this one will need to be trimmed and actually all these i trimmed one of them but i can't remember which one so uh one of them might be the actual correct length so what you want to do is go ahead and Put it in your shell holder and then you'll tighten this part down okay make sure it's tight in there all right and you'll want to make sure your drill is put on forward okay and then it's just as simple as taking the length gauge and putting it in there Okay, and then it'll trim out your brass for you. And then I like to take the uh, chamfer tool and chamfer the inside, and then chamfer the outside to get rid of any kind of metal shavings on there. So let's go ahead and take this out of the chuck and we'll see what the, the new length is. Two point four nine three five. Okay. Let's see. Nine two five. Let's see if I can get my micrometer to work here. Okay, two point four nine two five. So that's below the uh shell length, which that's fine. And I've actually got a, uh, a Lyman case length gauge that I also use as well. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you that real quick. So there's 30 alt 6 Springfield. Case length of 2.494. So you go ahead and put your case in there. And if it fits, you're good to go. So that one... Uh, I think this thing might be a little small right now because it's cold out here. It's about 35 degrees outside and it's about 45 degrees in my shed. So I think this thing has shrunk a little bit. But uh, anyway, that's how you do that. So I'll go ahead and show you the process again. So go ahead and, and chuck our case into the drill. And we'll go ahead and insert the length gauge and the the cutter okay okay so we'll we deburred the case inside and out and you can see it leaves a nice nice looking mouth on that case to be able to reload it Let's see what the length on that one is. We'll go ahead and check that one too. 2.4935. Well, it's between 3.0 and 3.5. So that one cut it a little closer to the 2.494 uh, that we're looking for. Let's see what this one is. This one's 2.5115. Now I've been shooting these out of um, my remington game master 760 and i've got a video on that on how to uh disassemble the rifle and put it back together 
So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and watch it out or watch the video. It's a, a good video, I think. So go ahead and trim it. And you'll feel it's kind of a, a grittiness as it's shaving off the mouth of that case. And then when it gets to the end, it'll it'll stop and you'll notice that it's not gritty anymore. So give it a couple spins here. And then we'll unchuck it. And we'll check the length on this one after we've finished it. Okay, this one's still... There we go. 2.49... Three, five. So that one's getting there. So it's almost the, the correct length. I, I think this is the one I might have trimmed. Nope, it is not. This one's 2.5. But anyway, this is a, a good low cost solution to be able to trim your cases. I know that Lyman and a few other companies make the, uh, the sits on the counter here and you chuck everything up and you spin it manually. To me, this is a lot easier. You know, you take your you take your case, you slide it into the case holder, you tighten it down, you take this, put it in here, and you're done. I mean, that's, to me, that's very quick. And you don't have to pay, I know those countertop uh, case trimmers, they can be you know, $80, $90, that's, uh, that's a lot of money when you're talking about just needing to trim the cases. So this is a good low-cost solution. Uh, again, these are the Lee, and this one's for 30 alt 6 Springfield. So it trims to length 2.474 to 2.494. So, and uh, it says it trims the case square and true to the exact length and let's see here we go it's got a steel stop pin that will retain its accuracy forever so these like i said these are good uh good low cost solution to be able to trim your cases so i appreciate you watching if you've enjoyed what you've seen go ahead and give us a thumbs up tell other people about it be sure to subscribe thanks for watching god bless and we'll see you next time